Hello, hey, this is a Mossberg 590 shockwave. This is not considered a shotgun. It's not considered a pistol. Um, it's just uh, considered a firearm. Nothing in the magazine. Nothing in the chamber. What I'm going to do, I've, I've got this for a couple weeks from a buddy of mine. Um, we're going to build a scabbard for it. This has the bird's, bird's head handle on it. I built a, a deal here for racking it, this leather here. And I don't know what this is. It's not a flash hider. It's not a muzzle brake. Don't know what it is. Anyway, let me set this up. Um, this is going to be the scabbard for it. This is a 8 ounce cowhide scabbard. Um, how this is going to sit in is just like this. I'm not quite done with this, but I wanted to share what I've done so far. So, this has still got to be sewn right here. It'll all fit in there real nice. Let's take a look at it here. So, a lot of stitching around here. This is all hand stitched. Every bit of this. All of this. With these big, um, these are harness needles. Use the saddle stitch, which is crisscross. Right now, I've got 40 feet of, actually 40 feet of uh, thread on this. I've got two more seams to do, 18 inches here, 18 inches here. That'll be about uh, 12, 12 feet of thread. Actually, this isn't thread. This is considered cord. This is huge. This is number 378 cord. So this is actually too thick here to sew. See, this is about almost three quarters of an inch here. Way too thick to sew. So I've got these big brass rivets. These will these will go crisscross in there side to side. Hold this shut. There'll be four here and then one up here. That'll hold this this shut right here. And then stitched here, of course, like that. So this is a kind of a designer thing. This is here for a reason. When this is folded, this will keep this from collapsing. So the shotgun will slide right in just like that. It'll keep that mouth open there. So the shotgun will slide in. Also down here, the muzzle's gonna ride down here. So we want this really beefy. The end of the barrel muzzle will sit right here. This is going to be wet formed. So there will be a slight bulge about right here. So I've got to wet this from here down to form this. So anyway, um, usually I line my leather with, uh, with um, old welding jackets I cut up. But I didn't have a jacket big enough to get this 24 inch length. So I bought a piece of black suede. This is drop dead gorgeous. Thought about putting snaps here so the new owner can unsnap it and uh, get his rocks off on that suede. Anyway, it's gorgeous. That's it. We'll uh, finish it up. See you guys in a minute. Okay, so I got this taco folded over. Got it glued right here. Um, Got the nice big brass or copper rivets in it and one temporary screw right here. As soon as this cement dries, I'll stitch this and we'll go on with it. We're good. So I submerged this scabbard in warm water. Um, it, it's wet and I shoved the, the rifle into it. See down here, the muzzle is flared right here. It's going to take a fit to the to the weapon itself. I've got this uh, shotgun or whatever you call it. <laughs> it's wrapped in uh, cling wrap and also blue painter's tape. And just shoved in there. Worked in and out a couple times. So you can see it's formed to the inside. Uh, the, out, the outside curvature of the, the weapon. I've also got paper towels shoved in here. To hold these wings open. So we'll let it sit for a little bit. 
until it starts to dry on the outside, then I'll pull it out. Then we'll build some straps for it. Yeah. Oh God. So yeah, it's getting dry. See right here, it's this whole area here is dried up. All the way over here, up in here. This side is almost completely dry. On the outside, the inside's got to dry, but the inside won't dry as long as the weapon's in it. So as long as we get a little bit of shell going on the outside, uh, getting the water off the outside, then the, we'll pull the rifle out and the uh, inside will cure. Got to make sure when it's wet that uh, these, these corners here, these edges don't get rolled up. Um, when they're wet, uh, if you bang these on anything, these stitch, stitch lines will, where, where this is stitched, will roll right over. So, got to make sure they stay straight and true, both sides, all the way down. And, uh, I'm going to work it in and out a couple times, then probably take it out for the night. I think we're about done. So, these, uh, rings here are pretty good for sucking this thing out. First shot out, so we're gonna work it in and out like that. So you don't want a lot of retention on this like you would on a on a uh, handgun holster. You want to be able to grab this and have not have the scabbard come come out with it, whether you got it on a motorcycle on your back or whatever. So you want this fairly loose fit. Gravity's pretty much gonna hold it in. So work it in and out a few times. So yeah, it's looking good. Kinda want this just to drop in and lock. So big old thunk, thunk. We're there. I'll let it go until uh, this is completely dry, clear to the end on the outside. Then we'll take the weapon out and uh, let it dry inside. Takes a while. <laughs> oh God. I believe I'm through with this. I've uh, put a coat of uh, Neat's Foot Prime Oil on it. I'm letting it, the sun soak it up, let it soak the oil in. There's no dye on this or anything, just natural leather. It's got a couple uh, straps that'll go around here, through these eyes here. Another one for this end. And then the long carry strap. That's gonna go through these loops here on the, on the back side. So however he wants to carry it, he may lash this to a motorcycle. Uh, he may carry it over his shoulder. Not sure, anyway, that's how it turned out. I'm gonna try the, uh, the old uh, Mossberg in it, see how it fits and looks. Okay, got the Mossberg in the new scabbard. It fits really well. These wings here, they've stayed flared out during the wet forming process. Uh, right here, I elevated this a little bit so his tack rail will slide in without um, interference. It all in all, it turned out quite well. Um, the edges here, burnished all the edges, so there's a nice shine on these all the way around. Mr. Dave, I think, is going to like this. Uh, there's lots of ways to mount this. He can hang it up from a wall. He can hang it from uh, a motorcycle across the handlebars. Um, he can lash it on here to his forks or frame on his motorcycle. He can um, put this loop here, through back through these, put the strap through these loops, carry it over his shoulder. It's going to be a versatile rig. Mr. Dave, I hope you enjoy your new scabbard. It was fun building it. This is probably a $500 rig, four to $500 if you were to buy one custom built. I'm going to give him a deal on this, uh, probably about half that cost. Because I'm still learning. There's still flaws on this here and there. He may not pick up on them, but I know they're here. So, Anyway, Dave, enjoy your new scabbard, brother. Bye now.